What I'm going to show you this time is how to change the bibliographical style and that will give you a way of exploring all the different styles that are out there for you. But before I do that, I'm just going to point out a common failing of, of Text Studio. Well, not, not common, but it occasionally happens that the helpful hints list that contains all the nicknames stops appearing. This can happen when you restart Text Studio, especially after a reboot of your computer. And I'm just going to show you how simple it is to correct the problem. Now, it's a problem that I'm not experiencing at the moment because I can see all the helpful hints down there, including all the nicknames. But if that wasn't appearing, what I would have to do, something very simple, I would go to open and open the bib file and just by opening it, that would remind Text Studio of all the nicknames and it would start working again. But that's not the main point of this video. The main point is to go through the process of changing the bibliographical style. I'm going to change plain into APA like. APA is stands for the American Psychological Association and they have a very particular set of rules for displaying citations and references. APA like mimics those rules. It's not exactly the same, which is why it's got like at the end, but it is very similar. So I've entered in the new bibliographical style and I'll save. Now, if you remember from the last video, when you've just created your bib file, you have to go through the steps of running PDF LaTeX, then running BibTeX, then running PDF LaTeX twice. And if you change the bibliographical style, you've also got to go through that process because you've changed the whole styling. And so you have to go through that full reinstall. And remember last time I also told you about the shortcut keys, which work fine uh, normally. You have F6 for PDF LaTeX and you have F11 for BibTeX and to view is F7. I say normally because it's not going to work on my computer just now because I'm video recording on top and that that upsets Tech Studio and so those keys don't work very well for me. So what I'm going to do is use the Tools menu and select PDF LaTeX. That's exited normally. Notice the messages down at the bottom have green text followed by black text. Now I'm going to run BibTeX, which is F11, and then you see that the first line of the message is in black and includes the word BibTeX, and it also has exited normally. So now we're ready to do the double implementation of PDF Late. That's once, twice, and view. If I scroll up, you can see that the tech, uh, sorry, that the references are displayed very differently for how, from how they were with plain um, bibliographical style. Now we're going to take a look at some of the other styles, but as you explore these, it's very easy to misenter or to put in a style you think is available and it turns out it's not. So I need to show you what happens inside Tech Studio when you try to run a file that isn't there. So I'll return to Tech Studio and I'm going to replace APA like with just a set of letters that I just tapped on the keyboard. I'll save that. Now obviously this string of letters isn't a bibliographical style, but let's see where it is in this process of F6, F11, F6, F6 that things start going wrong. Go to LaTeX, oh sorry, go to Tools and PDF LaTeX and that exit is normally. We go to BibTeX and that has errors.
So this changing of style is not that, that it's a mistake, is not picked up by PDF LaTeX, it's picked up when you run BibTeX. Now when I try to run PDF LaTeX on top of that, it might be tempting to just carry on running it in the hope that it's going to be okay, but if you try running PDF LaTeX now, oh, well, that exited normally, so maybe it is going to work. I go for the second shot of PDF LaTeX, and that seems to be working. So I view. But you can see nothing has happened here. There's no reference section and all of the numbering is replaced with question marks. So you can't ignore any of the error messages. Now I'm going to set everything back to normal again. I'm going to replace this with something I know exists. I'm going to replace it with plain. I'll save. Run PDF LaTeX. Run BibTeX. And that has exited normally. And then run PDF LaTeX twice. Okay, so everything's working fine again now. Now I'm just going to type in another nonsense name oh, but without semicolons in and I'm going to miss out some of the steps and you're going to see that you can be fooled into thinking what you've typed is a bibliographical style available to you that's strangely like one you already know um, and not realize that in fact this whole process was using that old known style. It wasn't using something that didn't exist. So, first of all, I'm going to show you that if you miss out the first PDF LaTeX and go straight in for the BibTeX, everything seems as if it's working. So, Tools, BibTeX, exited normally, Tools, PDF LaTeX exited normally. PDF LaTeX exited normally. Now let's view. Remember when I reset all the styling, I set it to plain, so this should be this will appear as the very first time we viewed our references and there it is it's all in plain file so all you did all I did there was miss out the first PDF LaTeX and it made it look as if that strange string of letters did represent a bibliographical style it's just one that's very similar to the plain style now if I'd gone through with the sequence as it should have been executed tools PDF LaTeX then run BibTeX I would have had the errors and then it doesn't matter how many times I run PDF LaTeX on top of that if I go to view nothing is going to be there. There'll be no reference section and no numbering. There we go. The other thing that you can easily do is miss out the BibTeX step. And again I'm going to show you that that also makes you think that everything is working fine um, although it's a strange coincidence that this new style looks just like the old one you used to be using. So first of all I have to set everything back to normal again. And I'll, I'll set everything back with the alpha style and show you what that looks like. So 
PDF LaTeX, BibTeX, Exited normally. Exited normally. That was the first PDF LaTeX. Here comes the second PDF LaTeX. And I can now view. And you get yet another style of organizing the bibliography. But this time I'm going to replace that with nonsense and then I'm going to miss out the bibtech step. So PDF later now miss out bibtech and go straight to the first bibtech and the second PDF LaTeX, sorry. So I've done everything except press um, BibTeX and it seems as if everything's working fine. So I go to look and everything's just as it was. The, the references are there, the citations are there. It's strange that this looks just the same as Alpha but maybe that is because this strange string of letters is a bibliographical style that looks just like alpha. Well, that's not true. What has happened here, as I said, was we've missed out one of the steps. So you can see that each of the steps in the process, the first PDF LaTeX, the BibTeX, and both of the PDF LaTeX after that are necessary to keep everything properly updated. And so now, so long as you remember those that sequence of four uh, processes, you'll be able to explore all of the available bibliographical styles. And just be aware there's a lot of styles that are advertised on web pages that really aren't available to you because there are thousands of these style files written all over the place and not all of them can be stored in every distribution of LaTeX. So if you see something you like on the internet or in a textbook, that's great. Try it out, but don't be too disheartened if it's not there. If that's exactly the thing you want and you really want it very badly, Professor Bodine and I will help you find it and help, it ins help you install it on your computer. And so that's it for, for using BibTech. I, I hope you have fun with it.